buenas monstruitos, bienvenidos a otro video del canal Volvemos con Final Fantasy X Por supuesto que tenemos una partida que cargar Porque acuérdense que en este video nos tocaba Irnos por fin a Luca Y en parte me hace ilusión y en parte no Porque no recuerdo con mucho amor el Blitzball ni siquiera, y mucho menos el primer partido Que bueno, que me hace gracia porque me acuerdo que en su momento Me lo tuvo que pasar mi hermano el año pasado Porque no había manera de que yo tuviera un día bueno De poder ganar el primer partido para que Waka se fuera del Blitzball con una sonrisa Y su trofeo, así que puede salir Cualquier cosa, puede que lo gane, puede que no Porque estoy bastante oxidada Y lo dicho, la vez pasada lo tuvo que pasar Mi hermano porque estaba hasta las narices De que justo me marcaran el último gol ¿Vale? Y te quedara empate Y quisieran la prórroga y que me ganaran justo No vale, es que lo odio Off to Luca at last. The matches start soon as we get there, so rest up on the way, yeah? Vale, pues en este barco tenemos cositas que hacer Primero coger este cofre, vale Tenemos también en la sala del capitán El siguiente diario al bed Y tenemos que coger el chute De Jack para que nos sea más fácil Ganar el primer partido de Blitzball Yo sé que hay gente que se lo ha pasado sin el chute Pero sinceramente La única vez, porque solamente me lo he pasado Una vez, la única vez que yo logré ganar El primer partido de Blitzball Fue con el chute de Jet Y que yo soy muy mala gente y a mí se me da muy mal El Blitzball, es lo que toca Primero vamos a ver estas escenas. What you all talking about? Who are you supposed to be? Ah, I remember him. Guy from Kilika. Huh? You know, one of the Besaid Aurochs said something about winning the cup. Oh right. You're that idiot. Don't call him that. But he is an idiot. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. Well, they do now that I'm here. Yes, they will win. He used to be the star player of the Xanarkand Abes. <laughs> yeah, as if anyone lived in those ruins. It's not ruins. There's a big city there. There is. Uh... I, uh, got too close to sin and... There is a city, really. Right, whatever your ladyship says. Well, say something. You'll take responsibility. Relax, he's bound to know someone in Luca. And if not? He could always join a Blitz team. Anyhow, it's better than just leaving him in Besaid. What? Just leaving him in Luca? What do you want me to do? You know wants to make him a guardian. Oh yeah, geez. There's that too, eh? And whose fault is that? Not mine! It is mine, huh? Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. 
It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. Okay? Okay? That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean... He's gotta decide for himself, yeah? Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right, for once. <clears throat> I wonder which is best. Why don't you tell him he should? Should what? Become Yuna's guardian. Why me? Because Yuna can't. Why not? He hates his father. What he was, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him? I want you to be my guardian, like your father was to mine. Aren't you being oversensitive? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know. It's his decision. He doesn't like his father. Apparently. He told Yuna as much. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about them. I... I was five then, so I remember mine a little. Damn it! Hmm? Sin just takes everything away from us. Go to bed, bud. Tournament starts tomorrow morning. I'm sorry. I need some time to think. Someone's bound to recognize you when they see your moves out there, huh? Vale, ahora sí que voy por el diario, antes que se me olvide. A ver, sé que creo que podemos recuperarlo este en otro lado. Creo que en el desierto cerca donde estaba Kimari, pero por si acaso yo prefiero pillarlo ya y no tener que preocuparme más adelante por este en concreto. Y ahora vamos a por el chute de Jack, que es fácil de conseguir, pero yo es que soy una manca de mierda y una despistada y puede que a la primera no me salga. Well, well. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. Sorry, le he dado al mando antes de tiempo. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. Vale, cuando Tidus intenta lanzar el chute de Jet, los recuerdos de aquel día le impiden... Ay, mierda, lo pasó sin querer. Por ejemplo, cuando aparezca un recuerdo arriba a la izquierda, elimínalo pulsando tal, cuando salga arriba... Vale, esto, sinceramente, tenemos que pulsar nada más que los botones que nos indican en pantalla para sacar el chute. Esto no es ninguna guía, vamos a hacerlo rápido. Porque me lo quiero sacar de encima y si sí, pulsar para... Vale, ok, esto es fácil. Simplemente seguir y pulsar las direcciones que nos indican con la B, rapidito, para sacarlo. No pasa nada. Si sí, le he cogido el tranquillo. Esto es simplemente práctica. Y si no, por eso tenemos lo del guardado antes. You can't do it, kid. You can't do it. You can't, you can't do it. You can't do it, kid. No one else can do it. I'm the best. You're out of your league. I'm the Best. Yeah, right. Huh? Whoa! What's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah?
That was the Jekt shot, wasn't it? Uh... How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jekt showed it to me when I was a child. He... He called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jekt Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was gonna happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Aurochs. They're a living, breathing, statistical impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. That's right, in 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. Right, Jim. Moving right along, our next team is... Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Goers. They've got power, they've got speed, they've got teamwork. 
They're an all-round first-class team, and they're back home in Luka. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Looks like all of Luka has turned out to cheer the goers on. They know, I know, and you know, folks. The Luka goers are number one. Yeah, it's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. Stop right there, goers! You guys are smiling now, but not for long! Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup! <laughs> What in Yevon's name were you doing up there? We sure stood out, though. We were on the sphere. We were? Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three dog. What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived, that's what. Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. Vale, pues vamos a guardar. Ya sé que guardé en el barco, pero es que soy una maniática de los guardados porque nunca se sabe lo que puede pasar. Nunca. Y más si soy yo que estoy gafada con la tecnología. Si algo me puede salir mal, saldrá mal. O sea, es que yo soy la ley de Murcia andante. Hmm. Can't see a thing. That's a guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? People of Spira, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Maester Seymour, and all of you as well. I present to you the son of Maester Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Night Pass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. Sakes you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also.
Where's Waka? Let the matchup draws. We had to play the Goers in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Waka! <laughs> we're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first. Let's go over the basics again, boys. Espero que no se importe que me salte el tutorial de Blitzball, ¿vale? Si me acuerdo cómo jugar, lo que pasa es que da igual cuántas veces lo leas, siempre seré manca. There you are. Someone said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Ah, uh, Oren? Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! The game starts, like, real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Hey, Waka. You're stiff, man. No, no, not your face. Yeah. Just breathe out. Relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> Just breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. Huh? How? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jekt is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the Oren Yuna was talking about, and the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why, but I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. Emito Sumana. Vasikna Bund. Hey! Albed Sykes, right? Some Albed saved me the other day, and. This girl Riku gave me food, and. Uh. <laughs> you don't understand me, do you? Uh. Uh, anyway, if you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Oh, and as for the first game, may the best team win. Vale, pues vamos a explorar un poquito la zona para ir sacando cosillas. Bueno, antes que nada, <ríe> me iba a guardar, pero esta vez no me hace falta. Guardaré luego después de mirar los muelles y tal, porque quiero recordar que había unos cuantos cofrecitos por la zona. A ver, vamos por aquí. Ya sabéis que me, yo prefiero pecar de explorar demasiado que no que yo piense que en algún lado digo, no, aquí no hay nada, aquí hay algo, aquí quiero recordar qué tal... Y a veces la memoria nos falla, a veces acordamos, sí, perfectamente dónde están las cosas, pero otras muchas veces nos dejamos algo en el tintero, entonces siempre es bueno en este tipo de juegos, pues, dejarnos todas las esquinas eh, cubiertas, ¿vale? Para asegurarnos que no nos dejamos nada, porque muchas veces podemos buscar guías en internet que nos dice exactamente cómo pasaron ese juego y tal, pero no te van a decir exactamente la ubicación de todos los cofres, porque muchos son insignificantes, solo tienen potis o algo, mira, 600 kilos, tú yo. Y es imposible abarcar todas las informaciones. Entonces, lanza de agua. Oh, toma ya. Vale, pues aquí ya tenemos dos cofres. Eh, no sé si quedaba alguno más. Yo, por si acaso, voy a ir por todos sitios. Vale, ¿en este muelle había algo? No lo sé. Por eso vamos a mirar. Mira, sí, había un cofre. Otro más. Es que parece que no, pero mira con lo de Fénix, ¿veis? Estos tipos de cosas es que vienen siempre súper bien, súper útiles. Cuantos más, más cosas tengamos, mejor. 
como pociones, con las de Fénix, ultras pociones, antídoto, etcétera, lo que fuera. O sea, nunca sabes cuándo los vas a necesitar. Y son cosas a las que necesitas a la orden del día. Bueno, a no ser que seas un super pro y no te hagan falta, pero en mi caso, a veces no me hacen falta, otras veces sí, pero más vale tener, tener la seguridad de que las tengo, que no que decir, ¡ay! Pues por subnormal no he comprado o no he pillado y me he quedado corta y justo ahora lo necesitaba. Mm, no, eso me lo quiero ahorrar. Vale, por aquí ya estuve y no, no hay nada. Ya estoy, ya estoy dando la vuelta por el mismo sitio. Ok, creo que ahora sí que sería un buen momento para entrar, guardar. Me cogí el, el diario al bed. Creo que había otro en el auditorio. Bueno, pues ya iré más adelante. Vale, aquí no hay nada. Guay. Había que verificarlo, gente. Porque hasta aquí no llegué antes. Y no, no hay nada. Vale. Pues en la exploración de esta zona ya está. Yo creo que puedo proseguir mi destino, mi misión. Me he equivocado de juego, esas frases de Pokémon. Vale, y creo que tengo que venir por aquí, porque aquí creo que estaba el diario al bed. El primero, porque en Luca tenemos dos. Sí, efectivamente, está aquí. Y un cofre. Vaya, el ángel de la guarda, que sí, que sí, que quiero el diario, no hablar contigo, tío. Que tienes una hostia bien dada. Vale, y el cofrecito. Perfecto. Dos ultra pociones, ¿veis? Súper útil. Ahora guardaré y continuaremos, porque creo que tengo que salir sí o sí. Y creo que puedo ir al auditorio en cualquier momento antes de irme de Luca. Así que no me voy a preocupar por el segundo diario al vez todavía. Porque siempre, creo que cuando terminemos la historia de Luca antes de coger el barco a la siguiente zona. Eh, podemos coger el diario en caso de que en mitad de la historia se me olvide. Así que no, me, no le voy a dar mayor importancia. I'm sorry. Please let me through. Hey, let's go. You're really famous. We don't get separated. Yuna! Huh? Hmm? What was that? <laughs> In Xanarkin, we do this to cheer on Blitz players. You try it too. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. Like This? Uh uh. Not like that. This. Huh? Then you just blow. It's not working. Practice. Okay. Uh, hey, use that if we get separate. Then I'll come running, okay? <laughs> well, guess we should just stick together then. Till you can do it. Yes, sir. Wow. This is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I thought every town was little, you know, like Besaid and Kilika. Don't usually get bigger than that. Because when a lot of people start to gather. Sin? Hmm. What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. The Crusaders fight to protect it with all their strength. They protect the stadium? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. Spear us a little short on fun these days. Whoa. Talk about pressure. <laughs> That's right. Is Xanarkand like this too?
Hmm. Well, there are more buildings, all tall ones, and cramped together. Oh. They must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? <laughs> Let's go find Sir Oren. Here, the tournament's about to start. I'm looking for someone. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. There aren't many people here. Everyone's either at the stadium or watching the game on the sphere. They love their blitz ball. Aren't you gonna watch? We'd like to, but we're waiting for some couriers. Hmm, they're late. Wanna ditch the courier and go watch the game? But. But we're still on duty. What about the mission, sir? Ah. Uh, see what I mean? We might be a little late, but we will go watch you play. You better be winning when we get there. Uh, yes, sir. Oren's not here. Hmm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Why not talk, Kimari? Not see Yenke for ten years. Say something. Kimari forget Yenke? Forget Biran? Leave Kimari, Yankee. Kimari is small, Ranzo. Kimari so small, can't see Yankee and Biran's faces. <laughs> Kimari forget Ranzo friends? We taught you much at time of Hornmold. Biran taught Kimari to be strong, Ronzo. Maybe taught too much. Take him on. <laughs> oh! Take it outside. The tournament's starting. You hear? That's the game. Today on this glorious day. Players from all over Spira have assembled here to participate in this great contest of bravery, skill, and strength. All of these fine teams, equally renowned, deserve to win the cup today. Such is the nature of this contest. Let us, the spectators, play our role accordingly. Let us sing to the glory of the winners and applaud equally the valor of the defeated. Contestants, may heaven be with you.
Kamari! Yuna's gone! Where in Spira have you been? Huh? Yuna's been kidnapped by the Al Bed Sykes. In exchange for her safe return, they want the Aurochs to lose. What? If they're only Blitzball players, I doubt they'd do anything drastic. But we shouldn't take chances. Let's go get her. I'm going too. This will be no problem. They're telling the Aurochs to throw the game, as if they needed to. I mean, how good a team can they be? Waka said the same thing. He'll take care of the game. We should go get Yuna. The Albed boat is in Dock 4. Let's go. Ok, he seguido la historia y no he pasado por el auditorio que era aquí a la derecha. ¿Puedo pasar ahora? Yo creo que no. A ver, vamos a intentarlo. No, ahora mismo no puedo. Tengo que terminar la parte de la historia antes de... Bueno, pues nada, volveré por aquí antes de irme de Luca, gente. Que se me ha ido completamente la perola y no pasé por el auditorio antes de la zona con... La escena con Yuna. Salvaged by the Albed. They are mostly vulnerable to lightning. What's up with these guys?
the Albed were expecting us. The Aurochs are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense, folks. Oh, he'll feel that one in the morning. Ah, but the referee doesn't call the foul. Waka's taking a real beating out there. Huh. Still in there. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch. Let's go. Let's go. Vale, creo que tenía que darle con Electro tres veces a la grúa para hacerla funcionar Porque la necesito sí o sí para matar a este bicharraco Porque creo que tenía más de 5.000 de vida Y la grúa le quitaba un montón Vale, la, la grúa se ha movido un poco O sea que tendré que hacerlo unas cuantas veces Creo que eran tres, ¿vale? Pero no estoy segura Yo sé que ya se mueve, pero no sé si le falta energía o no Y, y ya puedo usarla Yo sé que tenía que darle energía a la grúa no, Lo que no me acuerdo es cuántas Vale, comando extra, grúa, vamos a probar ahora Creo que no, pero por probar Vale, efectivamente. Todavía no. Que sí, Lulu. No me cuentes la misma chapa. Que tengo que seguir dando el electro. Hala, tú. Qué bestia. Electro, vea, grúa. Segunda vez. Se mueve un poco. A ver ahora. No, la grúa se movió un poco. Todavía no está encendida. Entonces, efectivamente, tendrán que ser tres. Pues, bueno, vamos a atacar directamente o a curarnos con pociones como con Tidus. O sea, podemos elegir atacar o curarnos. Yo voy a elegir ahora curan, curarnos porque, como veis... Vale, son 140 de vida que, que me he curado nada más. Pero, por si acaso, yo prefiero prevenir que curar. Que este bicho saca un huevo con los putos balones. Vale, ahora... Ahora funciona. Ahora sí. Vale, pues comando especial. Ahora sí, gente, grúa. Y veréis la puta diferencia.
I hope you hurt them. A little. What is it? There were these all bad that saved my life when I first came to Spira. They took me on their ship, even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship, but it's not. I wonder if they're all gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm-hmm. Wait, so that means you're Albed too, Yuna? On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. He became distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was... Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the Albed. Whoa! I, I gotta tell Waka! I thought I told you not to tell Waka. The game! Oh! Seconds left. The Aurochs are launching an all-out offensive. A long pass from Lenny. It goes through. Chapu, he'd still be standing. Hey, aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. Ahora toca mi Nemesis. La primera vez que jugué lo perdí. Después la segunda que lo jugué lo perdí. La siguiente la gané. Y lo intenté varias veces. Guardé justo antes e hice varias veces el primer partido de Blitzball hasta que lo ganara. Y la siguiente la ganó mi hermano, que fue la del año pasado. <risa> vale. Y esta no sé si la ganaré o la perderé. ¿Qué votáis? Ah, vale. Todavía no puedo volver otra vez a por el puto diario al bet. ¿En serio tengo que esperar hasta después del Blitzball para ir a buscarlo? ¡Ah, ¡Oh, qué pereza! Me tengo que mentalizar. No me dejas, no, no quiero ir al Blitzball, no quiero ir. Es como cuando no querías ir al cole de niño. Pues nada. Sure you all right, Cap? The game starts in a few minutes. You sure you okay? We're playing the Gores too. Miss me?
Lady Yuna, are you okay? All this because of me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, how can you let some outbed kidnap you? Hey, let it go, all right? Don't go near our bed anymore, okay? They're trouble. <laughs> no quiero entrar por esa puerta, aunque tenga el chute de Jake, me quiero ir. Me quiero ir, déjame irme, por favor. Por favor, que la mitad de las veces nunca lo uso Porque se me va la olla Soy muy mala con las estrategias de Blitzball No puedo Es que de verdad, hay gente que tiene un don Y hay gente como yo que, que no, que no hay manera Ah, the game starts soon no time for warm-ups. Ready? Let me at him. All right. I got something to tell you, boys. After this game, I'm retiring. I promised myself this would be my last tournament. Win or lose. I'm quitting Blitzball. But you know, since we're here, we might as well win. Yeah! Uh, am I on the bench? <sighs> I'm warming the bench. He's taking my place. All right, boys, let's win this one. Let's make the goers goners. Let's blitz. <gasps> I saw you floating there on the sphere. Oh. Hey, you weren't supposed to see that. Oh. <sighs> You really gave it your all, didn't you? All right, boys, what are we gonna do? Win! For Captain Walker. This is it, folks. In just a few minutes, the championship game! But who could have imagined? A championship game between these two teams. Our legendary Luca Goers going against the horrendously ill-fated Basaid Orox. This looks like history in the making, Baba.
avisados quedan de que en edición voy a poner el partido de Blitzball en velocidad a tope. Así que claro os lo digo, porque... Porque no, es que a mí se me hace eterno. Yo lo siento mucho, si queréis ver la partida en modo normal, no os voy a dar ese gusto, porque yo quiero pasarlo rápido. Yo los traumas los quiero olvidar, ¿ok? Yo ya me conformo que, con que por lo menos los goers no me den una puta paliza, porque me acuerdo la, la, la primera vez que jugué, creo que me ganaron a 4 a 0. Fue lamentable, o sea, fue, yo ya con empatar y después que me ganen en el desempate o ganar yo en el desempate me doy por satisfecha, lo cual veo increíblemente poco probable. Lo dicho, que yo cuando, o sea, yo cuando he jugado todos los Final Fantasy y a la mayoría de los juegos de PlayStation con mi hermano, eh, somos de las personas que, no, que jugamos los dos juegos juntos y algo cuando uno no se puede pasar una cosa, se la pasa al otro y nos vamos turnando el mando. Y así nos hemos pasado un montón de juegos, entonces claro, este juego eh, ahora mismo... Lo estoy jugando yo sola, lo estoy pasando yo y no quiero tener que lidiar con que mi hermano tenga que pasarme las cosas. O sea, bastante es que en el Hollow Knight le tuve que pasar la rienda en la parte de la senda del dolor. <ríe> y ni siquiera fue mi partida, así que no me lleva el logro de, del diario del casado. <ríe> en fin, si voy a perder, lo perderé por mis propios medios. Y si voy a ganar, también lo haré con mis propios medios. Y ya está. And it's half time. The goers are just playing great, Bob. Really great. Vale, he conseguido pasar la primera parte sin que me metan un gol. Para mí esto ya es victoria, es apoteósico, ¿vale? Aún no. Lo bueno es que ahora pasamos a la segunda parte. Tidus va a subir al nivel 3, le puedo colocar el chute de Eject y ahí tengo una posibilidad. Quizá no de ganar, pero sí por lo menos usar el chute y meter algún gol, que es lo que busco. Son defense, boys. Stop those goals. What about me? Get the ball and just shoot like crazy. Goers are going down. Yeah! Shoot like crazy. Down! All right, hustle. Más que la atención en la mierda Venga Tidus, chuta portería Venga que yo creo que llegamos hasta aquí con el chute de Jet Y seguramente no creo que me falle el gol Venga, ahí va Ahí va Everyone seems to be calling for Waka, folks. Say, where is that player going? He's leaving the sphere pool. He may be injured.
To be honest, I did kind of feel left out. But it really was the Oryx and Waka show after all. I wonder what's happening. The crowd is going wild. Ah, oh, it's Waka. He's back on the field and ready to go. The Aurochs seem glad to have him back. Vale, pues ahora es cuando se me va a complicar la cosa Porque ya veis que el único gol que he logrado marcar Ha sido a través de la técnica de Tidus Que sacamos en el barco, que lo he dicho Que el único partido que he ganado yo en Blitzball Ha sido con el chute de Jekta, que yo sé que hay gente que Que se le da bien y no lo necesita Pero es que en mi caso sí que es imprescindible Y aún así posiblemente me ganen ¡No me van a meter gol! ¡No, hijos de puta! ¡Ah! ¡Oh, empate, no me jodas Eso significa de que si no meten ninguno más Yo no creo que vaya a meter ninguno más Os lo digo, yo voy a meter un gol para mí ha sido eh, apoteósico. Sí que es verdad que he llegado a marcar dos, pero lo dicho, fue un momento, yo creo, puntual que tuve mucha suerte. Así que vamos ahora a la prórroga. Efectivamente, el empate no cuenta como victoria. Obviamente no sería justo, esto como el fútbol. Y no creo que vaya a ganar la prórroga, os lo digo desde ya. Hoy no estoy teniendo un buen día. Eh, yo ya, ya de por sí soy bastante mala en el Blitzball. No justifico que vaya a perder, pero sí es verdad que no tengo la cabeza yo para Blitzball hoy. Podría hacer un montón de intentos previos ya que guardé en su momento hasta que yo diga ¡Ey! Lo voy a intentar hasta que gane para enseñar la pequeña victoria con Waka en el que solamente nos dan una esfera. Realmente creo que solamente el logro de Steam de haber ganado una partida de Blitzball y una esfera. Y ya está, o sea que tampoco te va a cambiar la vida. Podemos seguir con el juego perfectamente aunque no ganemos. Así que no me voy a comer el coco. Por regla de tres tiene sentido que Waka pierda. Teniendo en cuenta que hasta que no llegó Tidus los Aurochs no habían mejorado. Así que ya está. No me voy a comer el coco, lo dicho. The Aurochs may have lost the game, but what a way to go!
What's happening? Guardian there ever was. You're really leaving, Captain? Shouldn't you heal up first? Yuna needs me with her now. I can't be lying around in some bed. 
Yeah, but... Come on, look sharp! The blitz season just started. Don't make those faces, yeah? Well, see ya, boys. You be good. Captain. I can't hear you. Captain! Are you sure? Never liked long goodbyes anyway. Sorry for making you wait, Yuna. I had some promises to keep, yeah? From now on, I'm your full-time guardian. Then welcome back, Sir Waka. Good to have you with us. Hey. It's good to be back, yeah? So, any news on what happened? Not really. We don't know where the fiends came from. Maester Micah is safe and sound, thanks to Maester Seymour. That's about it. Maester Seymour's Aeon... It was so powerful. Hey, you! Don't just stand there! All of this is your fault! Getting swallowed by Sin, ending up here in Spira, not being able to go back to Xanark, and everything, everything! I'm telling you, it's all your fault! <laughs> Who are you, anyway? You knew my old man, didn't you? Yeah. And you also knew Yuna's father? That's correct. Hey, man, there's no way. That's just impossible. Nothing impossible about it. Jacked, Roska, and I. Together, we defeated Sin ten years ago. Then I went to Xanarkin, where I watched over you, so that one day I could bring you to Spira. Why did it have to be me? Jack asked me to. Is he alive? It depends on what you mean by alive. He is no longer human. But then, I felt something object there in that shell, couldn't you? You must have felt him when you came in contact with Sin. It can't be. It is. Sin is checked. Uh, no, that's ridiculous! No way! I don't believe you! But it is the truth. You'll see for yourself. Come with me. If I say no? Every story must have an ending. I don't care about your stories! I see. Sorry you feel that way. Fine then. Come or don't come, it's your decision. What am I supposed to say? You tell me it's my decision! But I don't have a choice, do I? You're the only one who can tell me what's going on anyways! I have to go with you! I have to! Irritating. I know. Or are you afraid? Will I ever go home? 
act as Anarchin? That's up to Jekt. I'm going to offer my services to Yuna. Come. No sé si a vosotros os pasa, pero a mí me da Simur muchísima grima, ¿vale? Yo sé que no son de los villanos más queridos dentro de la saga Final Fantasy y entiendo por qué, o sea... Mmm, si venimos, venimos del Final Fantasy VII teniendo villanos como Sephiroth, ¿vale? Y de repente aquí nos ponen a Simur y es como, tío... ¿Por qué das mucha puta grima, Guado? Guado iba a decir una cosa, pero iba a sonar demasiado grosero, así que mejor me la guardo para mí. Eh, y ahora sí, vamos a por el diario al bet que os dije antes que quería venir a buscar. Que como veis, podemos venir a buscarlo en cuanto terminemos la historia de Lucas. Así que no pasa nada. Si pa pasa como vosotros, que se olvida. Porque es que uno no puede estar pendiente de cada mínimo detalle. Porque no tenemos la cabeza en todos los días igual. Y hoy, la verdad, aquí tenemos el 7, perfecto. Hoy, la verdad, que no tengo la cabeza donde debería tenerla. O sea, que es un puto milagro de que por lo menos haya jugado al Blitzball y no me hayan ganado 4-0. Así que, en ese sentido, los Saurox hemos dado guerra. Así que ni tan mal. Yo me voy satisfecha. Lo dicho, yo igual tengo la partida guardada antes del, partido, del primer partido de Blitzball. Y cuando me vea con la cabeza mejor puesta, volveré a intentarlo en otro momento. Hoy, la verdad, que no me apetece nada. Think he's gonna stay here. Sir Oren knows him apparently. You were right. He did meet someone he knew. Do you think he'll find a way back to Xanarkand? In any case, I'll miss having him around. He's still in town, isn't he? I think I'll go see him. Oh! Whoa! Sir Oren! Yuna. Sir. I wish to become your guardian. Do you accept? Uh, You're serious? You refuse. No, no. We accept, right everyone? Uh, of course. No problem at all. But why? I promised Braska. You promised my father? Thank you, Sir Oren. You're welcome to join us. And... he comes oh. too. Hi, guys. Uh, howdy. This one I promised Jekt. Is Sir Jekt alive? Can't say. Haven't seen him in ten years. I... see. You'll meet eventually. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. What's our itinerary? Where are we headed? Hey, come with me. Hey, watch. <gasps> ah. Hey, you got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand. I think. Right, now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. Uh, uh. Hmm. 
<laughs> this is weird. Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. anymore. Separated, just whistle. I'll come running. I promise. Mm. <laughs> well, let's go. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. Sorry. Well then, all right. Now, we will go to the temple at Jose. And guardians, don't forget to smile. Madre mía, el vídeo de hoy sí que ha sido un poquito más larguito de lo habitual, pero es que quería dejar todo el tema de Lucas cerrado en un solo vídeo para no tener que dividirlo en parte 1, parte 2 de más o menos 45 minutos, porque 45 minutos sí está bien, pero yo lo veía un poco corto para lo que suele hacer. A ver, como recompensa los esfuerzos de la FSI Aurox, se ha dotado de las esferas del viajero de una función que permitirá trasladarte al estadio de Blitzball. Hostia, es verdad, se me había olvidado esto. Sí, yo tengo memoria a corto plazo. En diversos lugares de Spira se ocultan potenciales estrellas de Blitzball. Álvarez con X y podrás contratarles. Busca estos diamantes en bruto y conviértete en los Beside Aurox en un equipo de primera categoría. Esto para sacarte el logro de ganar un, un combate, o sea, un, un campeonato de Blitzball, pues es muchísimo más fácil hacerlo al final del juego cuando nos metamos de lleno en el Blitzball con mejores campeones, con mejores habilidades que cuando intentamos ganar el primer combate. Así que en ese sentido me quedo más tranquila. ¿Con ¿Por qué digo combate? Si son, en fin, nos vemos en el próximo vídeo y pórtense muy mal que me enrollo.